nickel is popcorn. And the question is, got popcorn? Because we got baseball. <laughs> Put a Facebook post out there that said the first popcorn was on me. Well, here's the first popcorn. <laughs> there it is. Uh, this is obviously something that is near and dear to all of us. I see my great friend Barry Lyons in the back corner back there. Uh, a beloved Biloxian, a great major leaguer, and a huge supporter of baseball on all levels. You know, we just keep focusing on Barry and, and Major League Baseball in this baseball park. But we need to remember that, you know, it all starts with these little kids. And a few years ago, ago uh, we called it the day with the pros. And Barry came out uh, to War Market, and I put a uh, program together out there. And Barry brought some other minor leaders. And uh, all these kids from all over Harrison County came. And they got to go through different workstations. And Barry spent time with them. And, and they all had Barry lines written on their hat and Barry lines written on their balls <laughs> and their gloves and everything out there. And uh, that is truly, you know, what I talk about, the commitment in that. The fact that we're getting a baseball park and, and the fact that, you know, we can recognize guys like Barry and a lot of people in the community do a lot of things. It's the, what we do every day and that. So let's talk about what baseball, how we got there, and just a little bit on that. Certainly this is a great partnership that the state of Mississippi, Harrison County, the city of Mississippi, have, and, and everyone along the South Mississippi has been involved in through there. Uh, the baseball park, you know, I, I'm getting all kinds of questions. People call me and say, well, how much are season tickets going to be? Well, what I was told in regards to that, the season tickets will be comparable. Uh, to the other venues like Mobile and Pensacola, they haven't exactly set the date and certainly there's a scale in that. For me looking at Pensacola and Mobile, they go anywhere from $400 up to $800, depending on where you want to sit, sit at in the stadium. The big thing we got to remember too about this, this is an event center. Um, we're going to be able to pay for this, you know. I know there was some, some concern, and rightfully so, there should have been concern. How do we pay for it? How do we not put additional burden on the taxpayers? Well, I want you to just think about it like this real quick, okay? you got $15 million, which is a one-time deal, and I'm telling you guys it was take it or leave it on the $15 million. We've been trying on this project for a long time. I've been involved in the project for six years. I was really blessed and, and proud that I was given an opportunity to speak at the groundbreaking uh, by, uh, by Tim Bennett and, and the city. Um, just kind of as a reward for all the work we've been doing together, just behind the scenes, quietly. Baseball was originally, we uh, looked at different locations. You know, we kept hearing about, oh, you go here, you go there. We tried a lot of locations. It was this location that, quite frankly, uh, minor league baseball was excited about because there's 2,500 hotel rooms within walkability uh, to it, that there was a major um, investor in it with uh, MGM Beau Rivage, uh, and that uh, with that right there in that location, with the timing of it, they were ready to move a team. Uh, we had all, all the stars kind of lined up. I'm still star kid. All the stars kind of lined up uh, for us with baseball right there in downtown Biloxi. What I believe is going to be the biggest headache when it really comes down to is going to be parking, but that's going to be a good headache to have. We're going to tweak that out. You know, the guys in the police department, uh, they're going to have to get all their traffic caps on and uh, go to work in that. We've got a great police department uh, that's there. And, it's going to create additional economic development. I use an example. You take you take downtown, and you can take um, any of these businesses that are downtown, and they might have ten parking spaces uh, that's there. Well, those ten parking spaces equate to ten dollars a game. You have seventy games. You do the math at seven thousand uh, dollars of an economic impact for that particular business that they didn't have before. Uh, it also creates opportunity for us uh, for additional um, uh, walkability downtown uh, for retailers and businesses to come up. Uh, I know for a fact that uh, there was a major, major entertainment company that closed a $2 million deal on a piece of property in Beaumarche last week. That's not an accident. That wasn't, they just woke up and they just happened to be there that day. That's because baseball's coming to downtown Biloxi and these are already dollars and already programs and already investors nationwide, folks, that are looking at Biloxi, Mississippi and they want to be here. There will be more to come. You've just got to hold on, have faith in your administration. I commend the city of Biloxi. We're proud, Harrison County, to partner with them. We meet, we'll meet with them next month. We will make a financial contribution <coughs> to the $21 million bond. The Board of Supervisors will. Uh, in that, it will be a substantial contribution uh, to.